What's up everyone? This is Emilio with Quick Property Solutions. Today I'm here in the Detroit market, zip code 48215. Uh, I got a walkthrough of one of my wholesale deals, so I thought I would just bring you along, show you the house, um, even do a drive through of the neighborhood. I am in the east side, 48215, south of Jefferson, so this is the good side of, um, of uh, 48215. And um, if you have been following me for a while, I have some really good news. I just released my investing in Detroit real estate course. So uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. I'm gonna put a link on the screen too as well. But what I did was I did three courses one of them is like the full Detroit investing course. I give a breakdown of all the zip codes. I give you um, tips and tricks on like growing your team, where to network, free resources, things like that. The second one is I do a breakdown analysis of various zip codes. So I give my top five and then I have I think seven zip codes on there, but I'm adding to it more um, pretty much weekly. And then the third one, it's gonna be uh, a free course. Uh, all it is is just my contacts. People have been asking me about general contractors and you know uh, property managers and things like that so what I wanted to do was I wanted to just um, share my contacts with you and it's gonna be there as well so really good news super excited about it I hope it helps a lot of people out and anyways so here is the house okay, we are outside the house um, painted white brick bungalow um, it looks like the roof needs some attention it does uh, it doesn't look like there's any torn off shingle. We'll have to see the inside to see if there's water in the ceilings. It just looks like an older roof, so it definitely is going to need a new roof. Windows look like they're vinyl windows. Looks pretty good. Um, you know, here too, you're going to see on the the chimney here, the paint job that was there, the paint's starting to wear off, so you have to just paint the front. Um, again, all this looks okay. If you're going to rehab it, landscaping, and you could paint that porch if you're renting it, then just make it livable and make it a nice house to live in. We'll do a 360 shot of the street. Nice quiet street. And what we'll do is, I wasn't planning on walking any houses today, so I don't got any <laughs> boots on. I got my sneakers on, so uh, not going to just start diving into some piles of snow back here but let's see can I get back here my feet are already cold <laughs> so what happens when I get I'm unprepared should always have the boots in the car just in case uh, backyard this actually looks pretty cute I like the way this house is uh. I got a bunch of snow on my foot and my shoe. Stinker. All right. Well, I like it. It's brick. I like that. Let's make it up and let's go on the inside. See what it looks like. All right. Here we are on the inside. And I'm not going to lie. This place is beautiful. This place looks great. Obviously, I, I would say there's not an average rehab. We haven't gone through the house yet, but so far it looks great. I would say this is um, minor cosmetic rehab. And I think these are, yep, these are vinyl windows too. Yeah, pretty much vinyl windows, I think, throughout the house. So living room area. And the asking on this is 55. But I know that this will rent out. Um, I believe the market rent in this area is like 1100 thousand, 1100 um, but I know the value, it's way under value, especially at 55. Mm, you probably have to sw uh, swap out some of these uh, switches here because they're not grounded switches. Let's see here. Bathroom. I mean, if you're doing a rental, you can just clean up the bathroom, maybe get a new toilet. Um, uh, I don't know about this tub. It's got jets in it. Whatever, whatever makes it livable and cheap is for rental, but if you're doing a rehab, um, you know, you probably want to update this bathroom. Uh, we're in the second bedroom right now. This is the second bedroom. You know, let me make this thing wider. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, condition of this place is fantastic. I like it, I like it. All right, there's stairs going upstairs. Let's take a look at the little dining room area. Cute. And then we got the kitchen. Cabinets look great. 
I mean, honestly, just a couple drawers missing here. It's looking good. Okay, we're gonna go upstairs. Uh, I'm gonna do refinish this floors. Um, you can refinish it or you can put carpet. These floors need to be refinished as well. I don't know if you wanna, if this is a rental, if you wanna keep that there or swap it out for um, maybe just like a regular light fixture. Less moving parts, the better. I know a lot of people that have no, they try and keep it, no moving parts. So in the house, no garbage disposals, no fans, and nothing that can break. So this is a third bedroom. And there's a possibility here, pass by this, a possibility for a fourth bedroom. So this is unfinished, but this would be really cool if you drywalled this. Maybe we can run some like recessed lights or something. I don't know. This is really cool with like a like, uh, you know, that window overlooking the front of the house. Pretty awesome. All right. I like this house so far. All right, so let's run to the basement real quick. And when we go to the basement, we're there to um, pretty much look at the mechanicals and check the basement foundation walls for cracks, blowing of the walls, and water. Uh, so let's just do a quick look at the bath, uh, the basement. I do see some water over there. We can go over there. I think that actually is coming from the meter though. So um, I see a half bath, which adds value to the place. So if you are rehabbing this, you know, you're gonna wanna, um, you know, finish this out, probably put a new pedestal in there. And then we got the uh, the panel looks good. The walls look good. I don't see any bowing of the walls. I don't see water leaving out. Plus, I don't see tra oh trails of water either. That looks like it might have been a tra actually. This looks like it was like concrete. I think I may have dug a hole right here and then sealed concrete over it. I don't see any bowing of the walls. This all looks good. There is water over here, but again, nice furnace. Nice furnace. It's newer too. Water heater, copper plumbing. And then, yeah, the water here, um, if you just follow it, it's just, it's coming from the meter. There's a drip right there. Can you see it? Yeah, so that's actually not, there's nothing bad there. These walls all look okay. I don't see any other water that's coming in. Uh, so yeah, this house is pretty good. I like this house. This is a nice one right here. Now that we're done with the walkthrough on the inside, I'm going to get in the car. We're going to drive around the neighborhood and take a look at uh, what's going on here. Uh, it's very, you know, it's, it's cold outside. There's snow on the ground. So not a lot of people are rehabbing. But again, if you're doing your boots on the ground, um, you know, there's another video I talked about things to look out for, dumpsters, uh, newer windows, um, that's on a house. Those could be telltale signs of somebody rehabbing a house. So let's jump in the car and then let's uh, drive the neighborhood. All right, we are in the car. We're driving down the street. Goal of when you're driving around the street, um, I usually drive up and down the street. Just notice the vacants, notice like the condition of other houses in the area, in the neighborhood. Um, Again, looking for rehabs, dumpsters, things like this. You see this house on the right? I like how the porch is like brand new. I like that. All right, I do see a dumpster up here, which is a really good sign as well. Um, again, actually, I think I know that contractor. <laughs> I do, I know the contractor. So a dumpster, again, it's a sign that people are gutting out the house and you know, um, that's one of the most obvious ones out there. There's another dumpster, there's one right there. So they're working on this, brand new railings on this. Looks good. All these houses are nice big brick houses. And honestly, this, this street looks great. Awesome looking street. So I do see this truck here on this house. Uh, it looks like there's a new roof here. I see this uh, contractor truck here. So it does look like there's work being made there which is good. All right, everyone. Well, thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope this video was helpful. And again, um, my name is Emilio in the Detroit market, um, making these videos to 
tell more people about Detroit and also talk about um, wholesaling and tips on wholesaling and things like that. So if you like the video, like on it, comment on below. I got an Instagram. I do have that real estate course for investing in Detroit. Got a wholesaling course coming soon. So that's going to take a little bit, but um, I am going to start creating that for a lot of people out there that are looking for help. And um, if you are looking for inventory or houses to buy, um, if you're a buyer in the Detroit market, there's going to be a link to my website below. You could sign up there. Once you sign up, we're going to give you a link to our inventory. Um, the inventory is being updated uh weekly we get deals like daily actually so um we try and keep as much inventory as we can and i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching